Welcome everybody, Steve here. We got the cab primed, it looks really, really good. Now it's time to get going on some painting. And you know, I've gotta make some decisions. You know, where do I start? I think the obvious is we're gonna get underneath the uh, cab part of the firewall done first. And then, you know, maybe the floor, uh, you know, I wanna paint the roof. So what stages do I do this in? I think a lot of it's gonna be depend on my weather because it needs to be pretty warm for me to paint. And we just got into another cold spell with a whole bunch of snow. So that's gonna delay things there. But I can still paint underneath and get everything prepped. It's gonna take a long time to prep because there's a lot of caulking that has to go on with these cabs. And you just can't do that one day and then spray the next. So I think that um, I'll get started today with uh, you know, getting the, the prep done for underneath and then we'll uh, spray you know, when it starts to warm up. Looks like next week might be a little bit better. But um, I think I talked to my brother and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the whole cap. Now in the past, what I've done is typically just spray around the windows, we'll put the glass in and then we'll paint. But that, that's another step and I know I had a comment before, you know, on one of my videos and they said, well, why don't you paint the cab then put the windows in? And one of the reasons is a lot of times, you know, we'll paint and then these things will sit outside because we just can't get at them. And of course, then you're exposed to the weather. We haven't got, you know, these big facilities, you know, with lots of room to store things. Everything goes outside, you know, in this operation. So this time I think I'm going to, uh, you know, paint the whole thing and it's gonna save some time. And, you know, spraying is a big deal here. You know, of course, you know, I'm just in a little shop. I haven't got no fancy spray booth. So anytime I can avoid, you know, doing a spray, that just makes me happy. So let's get started. Today, we're gonna to get going on, uh, on uh, prep. And I think what we'll do is probably keep on prepping. You know, we'll get started on the caulking, you know, all this stuff in here that needs to be caulked. There's a lot on this truck. And uh, yeah, probably gonna need about uh, maybe two and a half tubes. Cause you know, when you start doing this, the drip rail there, it's really, really deep on these Fords. So we're gonna have to do it in a you know, couple layers. Anyway, enough talk, let's get started. We don't have to perform magic here or anything like that. Just gotta, you know, we got some spots primed. I'm just gonna give them a quick sand with the palm sanders, 280. Give it a scuff cloth. I think we can call that good. We don't need a guide coat either. We're fine. Now I'm just throwing some guy coat on. We have to get uh, the roof sanded. And you know, that's one of the things that has to be done before we take it off the uh, rotisserie. I like to uh, paint my roofs. And there's a lot of caulking that has to get done. So everything has to get sanded before we can do any of the caulking. Sorry, might as well uh, throw some guy coat on here. And then we can start Hitting her with some 220 and then 320. Well, I think we're going to start up here. Everything needs to get sanded, and I want to take advantage of the uh, of the uh, uh, rotisserie. So I'll do all the insides, and I really don't want to do too much sanding. You know, when I start doing all the caulking, you know, you get dust on that caulking and sometimes it sticks there. 
and uh, it's not it's not the greatest thing in the world. So I want to get as much sanding as I possibly can. So you know what? If we have to tape it up, we have to tape it up. It doesn't really matter. <sighs> Where to start? I'm gonna start here. Just hit it with some 320, and then I'll hit all this stuff with 220. I might I might actually use the uh, orbital with the 220 on on the roof, and then finish it with the block. It'll look good. Doing the final sand is a it's a real pain. But you just gotta take your time because if you rush it, then everything just looks bad. You know, you this is where it all uh, comes together. You know, if you don't do a nice job on your uh, final sanding, you're not gonna look at it. If it ain't sand, it ain't sticking either. And if it looks good, stop. I'll hit her with some uh, 220 done here, but I'm going to shut this aspect of the project down. I'm moving to the underneath now, and I want to get some um, caulking done in there because it's going to take a couple days. Because there's a couple spots where you know the caulking is going to set up, it's going to shrink, and then I'm going to have to put another coat on. So I want to get that started today, and uh, we'll finish this up tomorrow and get caulking on here. Uh, we'll just get as much sanding as we can and then near the end of the day that's when we'll start doing our caulking. Yeah, pretty soon, throwing some paint on her. Can't wait. This of course is the uh, most unfun part of the job. And uh, you kind of get used to it but it's not it's not one of those things that you, uh, you know, bounce out of bed for in the morning, that's for sure. So if you don't want it all over the place, put a little piece of tape down. And don't use too much. And if you want, you've seen me do this before, but just a little bit of thinner on your finger. Light and then uh, do another one. A lot of this wasn't even done from the factory. Some of these little areas where we, uh, you know, put a new panel in and all that, we're gonna tune it up a little bit. Right here, this is the bottom of the firewall, and there's a big, 
thick chunk of caulking and this piece here has come out so we're going to have to we're going to have to put quite a bit in here so what I'm going to do is just load her up and then use my spatula Of course, this is going to take a couple coats because this is going to shrink tonight. That's okay. Well today, I want to concentrate on the, the roof, get this all ready so I can start, you know, doing the seam seal in the drip rail here, and of course this seam here, and you know, something like that, it's, it's pretty deep, it's probably going to take, oh, hopefully we can do it two coats, but maybe three, this will probably take a couple good coats. These aren't very easy to do, they're not that much fun, but we'll get her done. And then, also, there's a lot of seam sealing that has to get done inside the, uh, you know, in the, just inside the door here, jams. That's going to take some time. So I want to get that started today too, so we need to sand all that. And then, well, I have the rotisserie. I can't really get inside and start sanding, but I'm going to going to use it to my advantage and get down there and sand, you know, the back and a couple places like that. Any, anywhere where I can hit it, it's going to save me some time. First thing I want to do, we got a lot of dirt in here, so I'm going to just going to get it started and I'm going to vacuum it because I've noticed dirt just kind of showing up everywhere. I'm going to have to get my stick out. I was getting tired of working on the uh, door jam, so time to work on the roof a bit. Give my uh, head a rest. Just finishing everything off with some 320 here. This actually goes pretty quick once you've uh, stroked it with some 220 first. Well, the sanding's coming along. We've got the roof pretty well done. You know, I'm gonna start on the back now. I got one jam done. You know, this 
when you're doing your final sand bit, you really got to just take it easy. And it's either your worst day or, you know, you find that little zen spot and you just kind of keep going. It's really not much fun if you have a, uh, if you have a deadline. Like if I had to have this thing sanded, you know, so we could spray it today, no, that wouldn't be very much fun. But right now, it's uh, pretty cold outside. Um, you know, spring hasn't, we've had some really nice days, but the last couple weeks have been pretty rough. But the next week coming up should be pretty good. So we're gonna be able to get some spraying in and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of start tackling this and then I'm gonna head out to the front of the uh, cab and do some more caulking. Um, this morning, the caulking wasn't even really set up that well because I had to put it on pretty thick in that one, one spot there. But uh, we'll put another coat on that. And I know it's tough to watch Sandy, but you know, I'll see what I can do and maybe try to edit it out somehow. Anyway, let's get going. It's more painful for me than it is for you. You can sit on your chair and, and uh, have a beverage. I can't drink through this mouth. Trying to put another coat on here, but I'm going to continue on. And like this is the old stuff, and it's got a little bit of a crack there. So we'll uh, we'll add some more in there as well. But I think should be able to get her done. Today with this, it's going to take a little while to set up. Man, this is on there pretty thick. So I just uh, put a little bit on there. And then I find the best is just go with the old wet the finger and then uh, just drag it along. Now this side over here, I've got to kind of be a little gingerly because I want it a little thicker. don't want to push it out. A little bit more right in there. You want it to look as pretty as you can, but, you know, everything's going to be kind of covering this, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. But you don't want to make it look like a grade sixer did it, so. That's a little nicer. Well, that's paper towel. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way now. Let's get this in here a little bit better. There we go. Perfect. Three twenty is coming along pretty good. I want to make sure that I get all the uh, roof done and I want to start caulking today in here so that I can get a couple coats on there and you know let them set up for a few days. I don't want to shrink after you know you paint it. That wouldn't be so good. And it takes quite a while for that to, when you get her on there fairly thick you know for it to completely set. Up. 
Uh, 320. You really gotta turn your mind off. And just kind of watch. When the guy coat disappears, your things are looking good. Just hitting her with a little bit of wax and grease. Now, once your caulking's in there and you uh, hit it some wax and grease, it's going to start coming off. So get all the little areas that you want done, done. You know, all this stuff here, I'm not worried about that. We can get that later, but. Just running some tape here now. And so this is the first one. So I'm coming up about an eighth. You can see where the welds are. And on the next one, I'll bring the tape a little further out. So this is just the first coat because minimum two coats on this stuff here. If you don't tape it, You'll have the worst day of your life. Because this caulking will just get everywhere. <clears throat> now the most important part is where this meets the roof. So we're just going to put a little... Uh, you won't see me here. I'll be back. A little bit of caulking in there. Okay. Now, trying something new. Glove with one finger. Just going to see <clears throat> what that's going to look like. See, it's pretty close, but I still need a little bit more caulking. <clears throat> so I just run another thin little uh, strip in there and do the same thing. Real thin. Like I don't want to have to. tape on there for very long. So let's take her off right away here. All right. That looks good for the first coat. Tomorrow we'll put another one on. I'll continue on here. Now I'm using my uh, pointer finger, but you know, if you've got big meat hooks, you know, you know, just pick the finger that's gonna work. I can just get, now well, it's gonna be a little tight down here, but I'll kind of force it. Pick the finger that's going to fit, I guess.
was able to get her. Couple spots there that need a little bit, of, a little bit more. Right there. Right there. Don't worry if you get any on your, uh, you know, on the body here. You can wipe that off later. Not a big deal. I'm just gonna get rid of my stick here. You get the idea now. A very, very unfun job. For this little guy, same thing, you know, we want to go, don't want to put our tape right to our finish, we'll do that tomorrow for the next day. I just put a little bit of a shot in there. And then this time, I'm going to give the spatula a shot. And that'll keep it flatter. If I use my finger, I'm going to push it in. Looks pretty good. Just taking care of any of the, you know, residuals. It's the next day. Just a little thinner on your rag and just wipe the rag off. Well, today I am going to get going on this uh, door jam here and a little bit more in the uh, interior, anywhere where, you know, the rotisserie is going to benefit me because I think the next step, we've got all the caulking down in the front. I think I'm ready to paint underneath and we'll just, you know, we're going to plastic everything up, anything that we've sanded of course. And once the underneath is done, I'm going to spray the roof and then once the roof is done, then we're off the uh, rotisserie. But, you know, the shop's pretty dirty, so you take advantage of that. You clean the shop up, you start sanding again. So I want to get as much as I can get done. It's coming. A slow process. 
Well, I gotta get geared up. I just got this lower section here to do, and then I pretty well got everything I want to get done for today done. And then, I'm going to get back up to the caulking. Procedure is the same putting that second coat on, and you can really it's hard to see it. I don't think I can show it to you anyway, but uh, it really shrinks. So you gotta go with a double coat minimum on here. And uh, that's what we're going to do. But I don't wanna take the whole thing up. I wanna do it in kind of stages so that I can pull the tape off, do a little bit more, pull the tape off. If that makes any sense. So we're not gonna go up to our line, we're actually gonna come up a little bit. Uh, about a sixteenth of an inch or so. Just so we get a nice smooth transition. You still want to fill it pretty good. And then this one here, because we're not, you know, there's no gap in there. A little less pressure. This one's yeah. If you got one little spot that's Maybe not as smooth as you want, a little shot of thinner. There you go. I like that a lot. Fun job now. We're just finishing up this seam here. Ah, steady, Steve, steady. Let's go nice and slow. Fill all those voids. Now, this can leave a like a, a bit of an edge where the tape is. You see, I got a little bit of a low spot right here. Can leave a little bit of an edge. So what you do is you let that dry, set up. Now you can come in and uh, 
smooth it out, spray some thinner on here and then use your finger and you can smooth that out again. Do it after the fact. I want to blend this a little bit better. So I'll just give it a little spray. That's better. Thinner helps uh, lube everything up. And then you can see that I'm taking the tape off as I go. Because if you let it set up, then it's going to pull away everything. I wonder if, why I've got the uh, end of a uh, glove on my uh, thumb. I got the edge of my uh, thumb is starting to dry out, you know, when you get those cracks. So just put a glove on there because when you're working with thinner and doing some sanding, I'll tell you what, that's tough on the, uh, on the skin on the body. Oop. Not happy with that, but that'll come off tomorrow. All right, let's get rid of the last chunk and we just have to finish that guy. It's time to start prepping the front here, firewall. I'm gonna do the lower part of the firewall. I'm not gonna do this part. If you do this part, then you know, you're gonna get a lot of overspray everywhere. I wanna do this kind of, you know, when I do the body and that part. So, you know, we got lots of holes to fill in. Um, you know, I did quite a bit of sanding and, you know, that's okay, you just have to tape it up. Just put some plastic on there and you're good to go. But, if I, uh, you know, don't do a good job of taping up, then I'm gonna get some overspray and sanding off overspray. Not one of my fun things to do in life, so I avoid it. So I've gotta just start, you know, I've got, uh, I got holes here for the uh, steering and the brakes. I got holes everywhere. And of course, the big one in the middle, because this is gonna be a standard, so I gotta plug everything off and just, you know, drape some uh, plastic over everything. And I think that should be good enough. And if there is a little bit of overspray, we'll have to deal with it later. All right, where to start? <laughs> 